uh, over the years we found there wasn't the requirement for as much joining work in, in house within the trust. So the equipment was redundant, hadn't been used for a few years. So we decided we could uh, try and find a new home for it. So we considered um, trying to sell it or scrapping the equipment. And as Sadra knows, it's really it's too good to scrap. Yes, it was absolutely. Um, it's, it's nice just to see it being put to use rather than just being disposed of. And it's uh, served a good purpose all around now. Yeah, so my, my daughter attends Hill Holt Wood and uh, really enjoys the woodworking and experience of environmental elements uh, with Hill Holt. And uh, over just an informal chat with, with my daughter, we, we came to the conclusion that the equipment, rather than scrapping it or, or selling it, would be really good if we could donate it to Hill Holt to benefit other students like my daughter who are involved in, in, in the Hill Holt project. So when John contacted me, because his daughter is a student with us, we, uh, he, he said that he had some machinery that he would be able to donate to us if we'd be interested. And as we have a joinery workshop and also we in, we're involved in construction with our young people and teaching them construction skills, I went to have a look at the machinery and it was perfect for what we needed. So we, we went and collected the equipment and we brought it back to the site. We've connected it up and then we've had specialists come in and ensure that all the machinery is safe to use. And then we started using the equipment really and we've used it in all sorts of projects in green construction, in joinery, um, it's actually enabled us to enhance the, our capabilities in joinery and the things that we can deliver and also it provides extra machinery there. Though our young people, uh, because they're quite young, some of the machinery is a bit dangerous for them to use, it's, it allows them to see this machinery in operation.